And it shows a little bit of weakness in their armor. They're not the invincible god that they may seem uh, to put. Comps they're rolling out with the M's, Tara, and Jean for PSG and Jupiter are running a mirror composition. I oh, know they brought up the Mr. P ah. instead of the instead of the Tara, actually. They've forgotten the extra vision from the gadget to try and get Mr. P's damage and porters to find out. So you can still get that information just through different means because the porters will seek out the brawlers in these brushes. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good point. Expect to see Milcreo deploying uh, that Robo Porter over on the left side of the map. If that's the case, that'll enable those Robo Porters to kind of seek through those bushes first to find anyone who might be hiding out over there. Very slow game so far. Jupiter picking up those free gems. There's one more in the middle. Jordan's going to go for it. Gets a couple bits of damage, but not going to be found out. Tensai going aggressive with the super. Will find Rely. It gives him the oh. man advantage. Hagego gets pulled in. Uses his gadget superbly to stay alive. Then a great pull onto Jordan as well. They're trying to turn it around. Tensai has the damage. Great gem collection on the side of Jupiter, and that gives them a huge advantage. Not able to make use of that Tara gadget to get the advantage they were looking for there. PSG are going to be falling further and further behind the longer this match goes. Jupiter really uh, happy to play the long game here, especially because there's an unlimited number of Robo Porters going to be continuously streaming out on that left side uh, from Milkreo. And remember, his gadget now can empower those Robo Porters and make sure they're going hard. Tensai creating enough of a diversion for Hagego to get in with the gems. Milcreo, if he goes down, even with one gem, that could be enough. It relies pulled in. This offensive that PSG needs to take has been dismantled before it can even begin. And Tensai is keeping Jordan on the ropes. Great use of the gadget into the damage to seal the deal. Game number one going the way of Jupiter. Well done to Ju uh, and you really do have to make the most out of every little resource that you have if you want to pick up a win against a, a team that's so skilled uh, to make it this far. Well, game number two. Same compositions coming out here, no changes, and it's an early advantage for Hagego and Jupiter as they pick up two gems. Jordan's now going to get his first. Damage being trading, I believe Hagego is going to be further ahead with his supercharge. So what Jordan is, maybe he's caught up now, 142, needs to be careful, takes one more hit, he can end up going down and losing those gems in the back line. I gotta say, Mr. P for Milcreo is not only using those room reporters to get a little bit of insight, but has also selected the handle with care star power. That ensures that his attack will bounce regardless of whether it hits an enemy or not. That means that you can throw it behind an obstacle. You can check for a little bit more additional range uh, and insight into enemy bushes just by tossing it, even if you don't know there's opponent there or not. I love what he's doing here by putting the Robo Porters on this side of the map. He's cutting off the biggest area of rush that PSG could occupy. It's making it so hard to get forward and assault. And that distraction means that Hagego can just walk forward and grab gems. Tensai's in the middle of the action, maybe bites off more than he can chew. But it's all in the name of getting Hagego more gems. And he's on seven right now to Jordan's free. Yeah, this match seems to have been decided in the Brawler Select screen. This Mr. P is just getting so much value for Jupiter, and PSG is unable to use basically the entirety of that brush. At this point, Jupiter's already got the 10 gems that they need and are once again looking to get a shutout victory. But credit to Tensai, and hats mm -hmm. off to him once again, able to get so many kills with this M Super, sneaking around to the optimal position, dropping that gas, and then finishing off enemies, sometimes even almost in a 2v1 situation. Wasn't enough, Jupiter, take away game number two. They are one game away. This should mirror again for PSG Oof. and Jupiter as we head into game number three. This is going to be a tough call for PSG. They might not even have another uh, comp that they've practiced, uh, but it just seems like they've been shut out so handily in games one and two. They're going to start using that Terra gadget much more aggressively to try to get additional insight into where those opponents are. Uh, and, you know, in, in a lot of MOBA games, being able to set up your totems and gain insight mm -hmm. uh, into the enemy bush area is the most important factor in the early game. And it seems like that's uh, also the mindset that PSG is bringing to this gym grab setup. They're getting a few lucky gem spawns there in the center of the arena that's giving them uh, a little bit of momentum to work with here. And it seems like they finally found their footing, true. They have time to try and get something. Um, if they can get that road reporter online, then it really does shut down the left-hand side. There it is. 
And then uh, another gadget used by Cooped Ace. Ooh, a chance to grab Tensai and the kill to follow up. Jupiter finally having a, a bit of a misstep here and giving PSG the opening that they need to grab a couple more gems. Even though uh, they've done that, there's still no decisive lead uh, for either team. Six to four right now with an advantage for Jupiter that looks like it just cannot be dismantled. Um, yeah, so they're hoping to try and get control of this game right now. And really, uh, they're looking for Jupiter to try and pull away with this one. Already nine gems, and it seems like when everything goes right for PSG, they're barely able to survive. But when anything goes wrong, Jupiter capitalizes on that opportunity, grabs the gems, and runs all the way to the bank with them. This is the match point, and there seems to be no way for PSG to catch up Jupiter on the defense now, holding onto those gems and cackling all the way to the bank. That'll be it. Jupiter takes the match over Paris Saint-Germain. There you go. Jupiter are going to be the ones 